time to go through what we are going to need. There might be a slight variation to what you require, but this is some of the things that I have been using. So I have a choice, I have a choice of the small mat uh, or the large mat. Now the reason that we have the large mat is it just allows you to do a really long strip. Inside you will see a little, it's like a little slip in folder into the, and we want the texture search side up. Got to have the texture side up because that's the section that you're going to be rolling on. All right. So um, yeah. So if you really want one um, to have one for each, one for silver and one for base metal, then that works fine as well. Uh, the reasoning that this one here was made slightly bigger is to cater so if you want to roll out a bracelet or uh, which would you do on an angle or if you decide that uh, you want to make a square ready for the Cricut uh, then uh, you could just put in your sizes and just roll out your clay from there so that just allows that to be nice and, uh, and big for you you're going to definitely need a self healing mat and your roller, your super flex pen, uh, your clay spray, clay stay and your choice of cream now the reasoning that I make my that I came up with this is that I found that the uh, olive oils and some of the others were a little bit too oily and then because I I do rehydrate my clays quite often uh, I will find that it was cracking my clay so I use uh, I have come up with a formula that uh, allows me to continue rehydrating my, my crack clays without out having any issues with the cracking because of the content of the high oil that uh, you get after constantly rehydrating. Your choice of clays, but I have both 960 and gold bronze and um, on both of obviously is the origami flex so you're going to need the origami flex for this project and again the choice of yours whether you go as the base metal you go a silver and uh, in this fact uh, silver which would be you would class that as, as a sterling and uh, and also your blades So I've decided I'm going to start, I will do both, but I'm going to start with the 960 on my small mat. So uh, first up I will do, so sort of keep, uh, make sure you've got your self uh, healing mat as well. Alright, so I am just going to, so just make sure you've got the texture side facing up, you need that up. And with my cream, just massaging this onto my mat. And a little bit goes a long way. And take it out to the edge a little bit. Just in case when I roll out my clay, it goes beyond. Now the amount of clay will depend on how big of a rosette you're going to do and I just sit my cream aside and uh, so I'll just get out my silver out of its pack and uh, it's already in its clay and its little bag. I won't need all of this, I'm just on the side here just going to take out the portion that I need and I roughly probably need around about five grams and you probably we really won't I'm just I'm just just let me close this over and all I'm doing is just giving it a nice little massage through make sure it's it's all together and doing well so I'm roughly just going to take about um, five grams of clay open up my folder 
section. And what I'm going to do now is just roll a reasonably even uh, snake. You can get your roller out if you choose to. Doesn't really matter. It wasn't very even at all, was it? Right, and I'm just going to close my folder over. Okay, so I think you can see that's all well. Right, and I'm just going to roll that to me, starting from the centre and working out. Starting from the next centre and working up, pushing up. And as you can see, just even with that 5 grams. Now, the other thing that I want you to be aware of is there's a little seam down the side here. Put your roller just on the inside there, just on the inside of the edge. So just so it's the edge of my folder there. Because there is a little bit of thickness there, so that's going to alter how um, thick your clay is. Just make sure you've got nothing sitting at the end of your roller that's going to interrupt. And I do roll this backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, making sure that I am getting this around about the one card thick. And as you can see, that pretty much covers the full size of this mat. And I do go over it quite a few times, and sometimes what I'll do is I'll even flip it. Onto its back. And then you just push out the excess that I've got there. Alright, so I think they're pretty good with that. It's a really reasonable um, thickness all the way along so it's quite a nice it's quite a nice um, roll on that all right so I set my roller aside so generally what I have done is I flip it over and just peel this back and just peeling it back now if you get a little tiny sticky bit where it's gone a bit sticky you know what I'll show you can you see there's a little tiny sticky bit just here? Just there. I'll just lift that up with my knife blade. Sometimes that happens and sometimes it comes up really clean and you don't have to worry about it. Just set that aside. If it interrupts the length of what you're doing, you may have to retake it off and refold it again. See if I can just push that down. And and I will just sometimes just burnish that little area just there and just see if it's going to release. I said if it's not going to release. Then I'll re pull it off and re roll it again. All right, so I've got to make a decision whether I'm happy with this length right here or I'm not. And redo it again. So all I do is just wipe that off. I generally just yeah, use my. pull that off I'm just putting it back into my sheet where I'm storing my clay on the side okay and I and as I said I've got a choice whether I want to uh, re just dry that as it is I'm just tapping that down and if I've got enough length Depends on the size of the rose that you want it, you're choosing. 
Jenna, you can pick this up. If you get it all in one, the whole lot will just come straight off, just like that. Okay, so let's do that one again. Okay, so I'm just going to pull off any excess. As I said, I'm, all I'm doing is just taking it off, putting it back in my little bag. Just going to literally grab one of the, the little lump and just wipe it across it and pick up any excess. So then from here, I'll just put that, wrap that over. And I'm just going to wipe that sheet down again. Just making sure that surface is all completely clean. And then do the same with this one. I'm going to add again just some cream not on this side but just on here Make sure you've got your mat edges down. Okay, that looks good. As you can see, that's just just letting go nice and slowly on there and I'm just rolling that away and just slowly with its own weight it's just dropping off it's been relaxing nicely there You might need to do a little practice, just do it a few times. And as I said, you might want to roll it a little longer than what you need. It's generally just the ends that tend to stick and are the, the hardest sections. And as you can see, that's just lifting up, but I'm not worried about that. That's fine. And I'm not worried about this. All I've got to do is just gently tap it and get the air bubble out from underneath that. Right, like that. And that's not going to affect anyway while it's when it dries. And that's flattened that out beautifully. Okay, so next we need to move on. Just clean that up so I can just remove that now from that sheet and I'll just clean off the little excess that tore off with that set that aside and now all I've got to do is just I'm just going to sit this on cut off that edge because uh, I don't need that's just a little torn 
but I just tap that. There's a little tiny piece lifted just there, and that will look good. And then you can see how well that's come up. All right, so all I do now is I just generally sit this on my laptop uh, for about uh, about 10 to 15 to 20 minutes, depending uh, on the temperature within my own house. So you can do the same. Just make sure your temperature is is quite low. Uh, that you're going to you can dry it on a dehydrator, but just make sure you put it on the lower setting. And uh, I mean, you could even run a hair dryer, keep the distance away from it. And what you're just basically looking for it is it just when you can start to see that it's going to lift off. And uh, all right, so I'll be back with you to show you uh, drying. wanted to show a little quick sneak peek on just how I've dried it. As I said, I run my laptop right next to my bench and uh, so I just dried on that, as I said, for around about 20 minutes and the, just a very, very low heat my laptop has. But if your laptop doesn't have that, you can just easily, as I said, uh, run hair dryer, keep the distance, just make sure it's somewhere around about the 10 uh, Celsius. Um, and I'll put up the Fahrenheit temperature there as well and uh, or no more than 40 but you just keep an eye on it take it off as soon as it's dry don't leave it there for uh, an hour or longer because you will exhaust the flexibility within it and you won't be able to do the rest of the project you'll have to start from scratch again Okay, so uh, we'll come back when this is dry. Well, so I'm just going to grab that off my laptop and you can see that it's got, it's kind of lifted itself a little and, uh, and I'm just going to just gently pull that off, which is there. Okay. That's looking good. And then what I can do is just sit it back onto the laptop for about uh, another 10 minutes. So, okay, so what you're going to feel now is this will feel like a little bit cold, but also a bit like a type of cardboard but yeah a very very soft all right so what I generally do is I just lay that on there and you can see it's kind of a little bit all wrinkly and uh, and then I just get my roller and just roll it out and we call this waking up the clay so this just wakes it up um, just make sure that you've left it long enough that it's cool so even any temperature on it you need to make sure that it's cool before rolling it. So you can just sit it on your bench for 5-10 minutes and then you're good to go. Alright, so let me just raise that up. And you can see now that that's perfectly flat. So that's all you've got to do is just wake up the clay and that's all it takes to do so. Mm -hmm. 